lads, lassies, welcome back to the YouTube. Okay, so today we're gonna do a super quick video, um, only because I'm like borrowing laptops, borrowing cameramen, Johnny's helped me out. And uh, yeah, I just wanna do a video that I've wanted to do for ages, which is the progression trail in wakeboarding. So kind of going from your, your very first few sets to being like a pro as such. So I'm gonna take it for granted that you can get up, you can cross the wake both heel side and toe side, and then we're kind of taking it up from there. Before I start this, I wanna do a real quick disclaimer that this isn't necessarily exactly how you should do it, but it's a rough guide and that's kind of what people are looking for and like, so that's what, that's what I'm supplying, supplying the goods. Okay, so first off, things like ollies outside the wake, that's really, really important to do. Then as well, one thing I will mention is the earlier you start switch wakeboarding, like I, before you even try an ollie, try and learn switch, and then just keep working on the switch, the switch, the switch, with everything you do, if you can do switch as well, then you'll be a stronger wakeboarder in the long run. Then we'll move on to going weight to wakes. Then we want to go toe side weight to wakes. We want to go like heel side 180s, half cabs, toe side 180s. Get every type of 180 you can, even the switch toe side 180, the much, much feared. Um, then moving on from that, I guess it comes to trying like, I guess your first, what we call intermediate trick, which is like, a 360 or a back roll or a tantrum. Personally, I think for me, the first one I learned was a back roll. Uh, a lot of people like to learn a tantrum first, but that's completely subjective. Um, but also as well, I know a lot of people are scared to go upside down, so I will say, don't be a pussy. But I guess if you want to build your confidence, because at the end of the day, you got to be confident when you're trying something, Try and do like a 360 maybe. Um, heel side one wake is probably the easiest, nice and slow. And then once you get that, you can go wake to wake. Then maybe even do a toe side 360. Uh, then get your tantrum, your back roll. And then you're kind of, I call that like the first barrier. So breaking your first one or two intermediate tricks is like the hardest part. And then they kind of flow as such. So you'll end up getting like toe three, heel three. You'll get like back roll or revert. You'll get tantrums, scarecrows, front rolls. Uh, roll the reverts, like all that stuff, toe side back rolls, it all starts to flow. Then after that, you might want to try adding some grabs to your tantrums or your scarecrows. Then you're kind of on to what I call the next, oh, let's not forget, maybe work on the five. The easiest five in my opinion is a toe five, then maybe either switch heel five or just a regular heel five. Um, this is blabbering, it's real fast, but I hope it's, it's just supplying information, which is what we're going for in this video. A little less banter, a little bit more information. So then the next thing is you're at that biggest barrier and this is probably one of the hardest ones to break and that is when you're going for your first ever like mob or high end trick. So this is kind of when you go from being like an intermediate to like a super advanced rider. The first one I learned was a whirly bird um, but then I never ever could do it again and then I ended up, the first one I had consistent was a crow mob. But I'd say the first ones you could kind of look at would be whirly, crow mob, early roll to blind with a handle pass um, or tutsi roll as well. They're kind of the first four or five you should learn and if you learn one of them then try and move on to the next one and then I'll probably leave this video here because it's a lot of information. But yeah, I don't know. I wanted to make a really quick, short, snappy video just supplying information because I know like I get so many messages saying thank you for all the information and then sometimes I probably do too much vlog stuff and yeah, I just want to give some good quality information for the YouTubers. I hope you enjoy the video, I hope you find it useful. Um, if you wanna work on any of these tricks, I probably have done tutorials for most of them, so check out my channel. We also have a coaching site, docwake.com, and we also do customized, look at me selling myself here. But yeah, no, we do customized coaching on that. Um, so yeah, if you want if you want to send me videos and for me to reply, hit up Docwake and we will get you learning some new tricks. But for now, lads and lassies, I'm gonna call this quick video. This is the shortest, snappiest video ever. Thank you to Johnny for filming. See you in the next one. Cheers, guys.